What's good, YouTube? Yo, I just got done working out, man, putting that time in the gym, and now I'm headed to the mall to get my personal pair of Air Jordan Hair 6. I'm excited to get this pair, man. These joints flew. A lot of sneaker heads didn't know if these were going to sell out, if these was going to sit, but yo, these joints literally sold out in six minutes on sneakers app. The irony, right? Like, Jordan 6s sell out in six minutes, so I'm about to go get mine, and I'm going to uh, do a review as soon as I get back to the crib. So, squad, I'll catch y'all soon. Peace. what's good soul squad and welcome back to another episode of soul talks where sneakers are the conversation listen if you guys are new here i need you to do me a favor before we go any further and hit that subscribe button we are on the road to a thousand subs by the end of this year and i know we can do a soul squad and also in addition to subbing to the channel i need you guys to smash that like button the goal for every video is 50 likes it goes a long way in helping us grow the channel and we can't do it without you guys support so do me a favor and sub to the channel hit that like button and get ready to tap in with us for another episode of soul talks what's good sneaker fam it's your boy nice kick no checking back in for another video listen man i just got back in from picking up my personal pair of the air jordan hair six and guys i gotta be completely honest I don't think anybody saw this shoe flying and selling out as fast as it did. These Jordan 6s literally sold out in six minutes. Like the irony, right, of a Jordan 6 selling out in six minutes. A lot of sneakerheads that I watched uh, weren't sure of how well this shoe would do. They didn't know if it was going to sit. They didn't know if it would sell out um, based on previous releases. But, man, these joints flew i was watching you know on uh on youtube man checking out some other pages man um and looking at some ig accounts man a lot of people were taking l's a lot of people couldn't get through on multiple sites but with that being said um with the last few recent jordan brand releases man with the flint 13s the royal toes the fire reds the dmp 6s and even the court purple 2.0s we have gotten restocked so soul squad i would encourage you guys to keep your eyes peeled because Jordan brand has been restocking um, a lot of these past releases. So if you didn't get a pair of these Air Jordan Hair 6s, man, um, you might be able to get a chance within another week or so. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But without further ado, man, I want to jump into reviewing these beauties, man. And like real talk, I really wasn't a fan of this shoe um, when I first saw it. But the more detailed images I saw, the more and more pictures I saw of it, I had to add it to the collection. So squad, on today's video, we will be reviewing the Air Jordan 6 hair. All right, so squad, so let's jump into the review, man. And first things first, I want to start with the box because we didn't get our typical Jordan 6 box. Um, normally the Jordan 6 box is uh, is black with the red um, Jumpman there in the center, but Jordan brand did something really dope uh, with the packaging for the Air Jordan 6 hair. And I'm a sucker for good packaging, so I was excited to see that they did something different. As you can see on the front of the box, uh, we have the Jumpman um, symbol right down here in the bottom left corner. And then we have this, uh, this carrot right here in the center of the box. Um, we all know Bugs Bunny has played um, a very uh, integral role in um, Jordans. You know, we have the uh, the Bugs Bunny 8s. Um, obviously, Bugs Bunny was in Space Jam uh, with Michael Jordan. And, you know, we have the Jordan hair, the OG uh, 7s. And um, we got the hair 7 2.0s um, earlier this year, like that green fur, which I personally wasn't a fan of. but. To each his own and now we have these air jordan six hair so we have like this carrot um on the uh on the front of the box here um what's up doc you know what i'm saying <laughs> man uh, shout out the bugs bunny and then when you pop open the lid like we have this real funky um red orange green black and gray uh paper um like this kind of like shiny paper um you flip that back and then we have our white paper here and then last but not least you have the air jordan 6 
Okay, let me make sure you guys can see that, man. So this shoe, like I said, literally sold out in six minutes on Sneakers app. Um, the hype apparently was <laughs> real crazy for these, man. Just an overall nicely done shoe. We have um, standard white uh, tumbled leather here on the upper. Um, we've got the hints of gray as well on the upper as well. And I want to say there's hints of 3M inside this gray. I kind of was holding in the light earlier and it looked like um, it was some 3M in here. Um, so I thought that was dope. Um, you've got your red uh, heel tab there on the back. Um, you've got the purple Jumpman um, Jordan Air branding right there on the uh, the back heel. Um, we've got like this this pink uh, this pink outsole um, right here. This pink midsole rather, and then we have like these uh, this pink, purple, and green and white outsole, which is really dope. Like I thought the colorway on these Jordan sixes was just phenomenal. Um, I like the Jordan brand gave us something fresh for the summer. This is a really dope shoe that you can do some stuff with in the summer just because of the neutral gray, um, the, the the pink, the hits of orange. And then if you look here at the lace lock, I thought this was really dope, man. On the uh, the box, we had the carrot on, on the, uh, the top of the label there for the box. And then on this lace lock, we have um, orange base with the green uh, push down tab on the lace lock to resemble a carrot. So I thought that was dope. Um, you've got your uh, black jump man here on the uh, the shroud and then you have like this translucent um, like tongue here but then on the back if you guys can see that in the back of the tongue you've got like multi colors right there behind the tongue um, so overall man a nicely done shoe um, like I said initially I didn't like these at first but I'm glad I picked them up and added them to the collection because the Air Jordan 6 here I feel like this is gonna be one of those shoes that we look back um, probably about like five, 10 years from now. And this is going to be another classic. Um, this is going to be another staple, you know, as far as it pertains to the Air Jordan 6, which sixes are already a popular model, but I feel like the Air Jordan 6 hair specifically is going to be looked at, you know, even though it's a non OG colorway, I think it's going to get, you know, put in like that conversation as far as being a classic shoe, man. So that's the Air Jordan 6 hair. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, if you picked up a pair, um, if you struck out, uh, what your experience was, if you went after these Air Jordan 6s. Um, I'm glad that I didn't sleep and I was able to um, hit on the finish line raffle and grab my pair because they are definitely bought worthy. So squad, that's been another episode of Soul Talks, man. Thank you guys so much uh, for rocking with us here on the channel. Thank you all for all the love and the support. Drop some comments in the comment section below. Let us know if you guys are feeling the channel so far. Um, also let us know if there are certain topics and things that you guys want us to discuss and cover on this channel. This channel is for you guys and we just wanna to continue to keep producing dope content and spreading positive vibes here on Soul Talks. Thank you guys for tuning in. Soul Squad, one love baby. I'll let y'all next time. Peace.